you notice that my social media icons are blocked out. The reason for that is because you actually have to go through a registration process to get some special keys in order to enable those features. So let me just show you how to do that very quickly. Uh, see, if I go back to my web browser and I go to my home screen and I go to register products, uh, you're going to see a social media icon here. So um, we have three different things, Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Each one of them will walk you through a procedure for uh, for doing a registration. I'm just going to do the Twitter one here real quick since that's the most popular one. Uh, in order to be able to use Twitter, you have to go to this page and then you have to grant yourself access to post to your Twitter account. So I'm going to hit grant access. It's going to ask me if I want to authorize. It's going to log me into my Twitter account and ask me if I want to authorize. So now if I say that, it's going to come back and bah, there's my picture and here's my Twitter stuff. And there's two keys here. There's a token that I need to know. These are my special tokens that basically are my authorization keys for Twitter. So I can now go into option settings. I can go to social media. And you'll notice that under Twitter, I have a location for the token. And so I need to basically paste that token in there from here. I need to paste in the key from here. My Twitter is now enabled and I can actually send tweets. You notice that my Twitter icon now has been highlighted, which means that it's active. And I can actually send a tweet very easily by clicking on that, saying, hello from Xscape, and hit OK. As with the email, I haven't actually sent that tweet. I've actually queued that tweet up. That tweet has been queued up. And if you, if you look at my little mailbox, the flag is going up. And that will be sent along with any other emails that we'll want to send. So it'll just batch them up and send them all at once. The same is true for Facebook and LinkedIn. So now when I hit the start button, it'll actually send that tweet along with any emails that are pending and post that to my Twitter account and distribute that tweet throughout my Twitter network. Xgate is quite extensive. There's a lot of features that we have not covered. Um, there's a very nice help file that comes built in with the software. So any questions that you might have on how Facebook works or how the blogging works, um, I'll refer you to the, to the uh, Xgate help file. And uh, if you go in here, for example, you'll see the different setup guides and uh, it'll describe different features and uh, facilities within Xgate. And so I encourage you to take a look at those. You notice that I did send an email. This email that went out was my tweet, and then I received two emails. Those two emails were the emails that I had sent myself previously, and there are the two test emails that I sent myself in the previous connection.